Next up on WTV, Senior Night Football Game, the Pep Rally, and this week's edition of My Life Fast. WTV's daily update starts now. Hey the Red Hawk Nation, today is Thursday, November 3rd, and I'm Karina Karoska of today's daily update, brought to you by Wingspan TV. Every change the district makes has an impact on finances, and Frisco ISD has been recognized for their budget management. WTV's Varun Saravanan has the details. For more than 20 years, Frisco ISD has received a top A rating from the state for its financial management practices. Frisco ISD received 98 out of 100 possible points for the latest rating, which was based on the district's annual financial report for the 2021 fiscal year. Approximately 85% of Texas school districts achieved a superior rating for 2021-2022. Schools are just based on 20 financial indicators such as administrative cost expenditures, the accuracy of a district or charter's financial information submitted to the state. FISD will provide a preview of its 2022-23 first rating based on the audited annual financial report for the 2022 fiscal year after the audit is finalized this month. Reporting for WTV, I'm Varun Saravanan. It's only November, but for some seniors, it's the end of an era with the football season coming to a close. So what does this night mean for those involved? WTV's Grace Morgan finds out. From the players to band, Senior Night is a time to celebrate graduating seniors involved in the presentation of a Red Hawks football game. After hours of practice and rehearsals, part of their high school career comes to a close tomorrow night. Here's what the night means to those involved and what they are looking forward to. Being able to have both my parents walk me in the center of the field, have my name called, you know, feel that graduation vibe, you know. I'm most looking forward to Senior Head Choppers because every year you get to see the seniors that you've like not grown up with but that you know and that you love and you get to see them do like head choppers one last time and I'm just really excited to do that because it's like finally my turn after all four years of seeing it happen. Senior night means a lot to me because it's this year at least it's our last ever football game so it means we're just closing off the year by like celebrating our seniors and that means a lot. It's a way to celebrate all the seniors who are like involved, so it's really fun to celebrate our activities. Senior night is tomorrow night at the Star with kickoff scheduled for 7 p.m. Reporting for WTV, I'm Grace Morgan. With the final football game happening tomorrow, the pep rally is all about the seniors. The annual senior pep rally is tomorrow, and while many seniors have looked forward to this for four years, it is causing lots of mixed feelings. Definitely bittersweet. I'm excited because like being on the team the past four years, like watching the seniors do senior pep rally has always been something I looked forward to, but it's kind of sad because it's like our last pep rally that we get to perform at ever. Reporting for WTV, I'm Lauren Pratt. On this week's edition of My Life As, WTV takes a look into the life of yearbook reporter Meyer Leonard. First thing I do as a photographer for yearbook is I go in and I make sure that I have my pass with me and all my camera stuff is with me and then I go into the gym and I find a good spot um, where I can put my stuff down. Once I have my stuff and I find my spot, I get out the lens that I need for the game. Um, today I didn't need to change my lens because we are inside uh, for a volleyball game. So I just keep the same lens on, make sure my lens cap is off and then I check my settings to make sure that I don't get any too bright pictures, too dark pictures, make sure none of the pictures are blurry, and all accurate settings. And then I wait for the game to start with my stuff, and then once the game starts, I find a good spot. Um, there wasn't a lot of space at this game, so there wasn't a lot of um, different positions I could have gotten, so I just stayed in the same spot for the most part, but I still got pretty good shots of no blurriness and a lot of movement action and then the next day I go in and I edit my photos um, for them to go into the yearbook. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. Join Mexican American Studies Club. They'll, be have, they'll have meetings filled with food, movies, and celebrations. The first meeting is a Day of the Dead celebration today during advisory in Ms. Franco's room, C215. Join the Remind by texting Liberty MX to 81010. Everyone is welcome. Black Student Union is having a Jeopardy event in C154 during advisory on November 9th. All are welcome and there will be food and a prize. That's it for today's daily update. This is Karina Gorska for Wingspan TV.